Hi, I received a question about the use of the, um, of the asset gas fluid package in ISIS Dynamics and it was interesting to see how ChatGPT can help us. So, um, as you know, ChatGPT has the capability now to receive some uh, documents, specific documents, and it will use them um, for giving you more accurate answers. So, um, I have tested that and I think this could be very interesting for us today. So, uh, let's see how this works. Um, but before we do that, um, let me show you how the normal chat GPT will answer uh, this question. So, I have here access to the chat GPT 4.0, which is um, the, the latest uh, model for chat GPT. So, let's see how this um, one can answer our question. So, I will try to ask him now if um, we can use the asset gas fluid package within the ISIS Dynamics and let's see how he will answer that. Okay, so he is giving us um, a very general um, answer. He's saying yes and then um, giving us some quick tips about the use of just a normal simulation, which is not a very accurate um, answer. But now let's go um, for our um, advanced or trained model, which has more related data. And as you can see, it, it gives a very interesting result. Uh, very accurate and he even uh, specified that you can use a reduced order model which is very true he is giving you some of the limitations about the amines and a lot of things <coughs> this is very very nice um, okay so let's try to challenge that let's try to ask about the details of this um, solution that we have and it seems to be working in a good way. All, um, all the answers that are coming, all the details, uh, it seems to be accurate. He is giving details about everything in this um, reduced order model solution for the asset gas load package and high dynamics, which is uh, perfect. Um, okay, very nice. You can think about generative AI now doing the search in your process or equipment manuals, this big box and, and gives you an answer for your questions very quickly and maybe um, refer to the page or the section in this manual about this topic. Uh, very interesting. So hopefully this was useful and uh, thank you.